And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some fearsome rally. This is one of the best decks in Legends of Runeterra right now. One of the most popular decks. And uh, and I haven't tried it out myself, so that I'm going to go ahead and try it now. So this is uh, basically very similar to the fearsome midrange that we've played a couple of times. But instead of, instead of splashing Piltover and Zahn for removal spells, for like burn spells that can go upstairs, we're uh, splashing uh, Demacia mostly for Relentless Pursuit. Three mana, uh, fast spell that allows us to rally. Rally, of course, means that we just get to... Um, we gain the attack token. So if we, if we don't have the attack token, we gain the attack token, so we get to attack... Um, so, you know, like we, we kind of get ahead with our, uh, creatures. We have like these difficult to block fearsome creatures. We get to like go straight to attacks, uh, do a bunch of damage. Maybe they play like one blocker, then we rally attack again. Um, or, you know, like attack at the end of their turn. You know, we, we can, we can set it up how we want to. There's one radiant guardian in here because of how strong that card can be. With the lifesteal, there's one bright steel protector also that can maybe give like Elise a barrier or, you know, something else or a Hecarim a barrier. But yeah, there's the three Hecarims. People are getting used to this top end. Three Hecarim, two Rekindler to bring back Hecarims, and a couple Harrowings that just can win games on the spot whenever it's cast as well. Uh, get a little bit of card, card draw with some Vanguard Redeemers in there as well. And that's basically our deck. All right, so let's let's give it a try. We're gonna go play seven games in ranked, and if we go, no, okay. I was gonna say if we go seven and zero, oh, will we move up to diamond? But no, not quite. We need we're eight wins away from diamond now. Oh yeah, puppy's very camera shy. Puppy is looking at Harvey right now. Harvey's next to me. I'm petting Harvey. Yeah. Puppy doesn't like looking at the screens. I, I don't know. I think there's like something in the screens that she doesn't like. She doesn't like looking at the the computer screens. I'm going to put the rally back. I mean, that's a great card to draw late game. It's not really anything I need in my opener. I don't really want this to mark the owls, but Wraith Caller, Skitter are both strong cards. There we go. Wanted to find some kind of ones and twos to help curve into those. He's like, why aren't you petting me? There's nothing to All right, so we're playing against the Kinku Elusives. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Spit her out from the darkness. This would be a good time to draw that rally that I put back. Well, how about that? Do not fear the shrouded path. All right, so we can go Skitter, keep them from attacking with Zed. Okay, you have some Detains in there? Okay. What What do you play Detain instead of from, like, from what's in my list? Okay, no, the the other Demacia cards, gotcha. We could use the bite. Where are you going? I'll take care of this. So I could play the rally and and you know, uh, just deal five, but I think it can be better than that. All right, 
Bye, pup. I want to play the Radiant Guardian this turn. Four four is a little annoying. It will be done. Looking for this. These are dangerous lands. Uh, that was a card I was hoping they didn't have. You know, because they gave something plus three plus three. This jewel protector is pretty awesome. Yeah, Blade, whenever you save the deck on Mobile Addicts, whenever you save it, there's there's a spot to say public or private at that point. Banish the unworthy. I sense fear. I'll take care of this. Hooday, what's up? This is a little different. This is Legends of Runeterra, Tyler. This game is awesome. Uh, let's see. Do I need to gain this five life? Maybe. Yeah, I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just dead. I don't, I don't know, like, what removal spells does my deck have that's going to be taking this thing out? Um, I do have black spear, I have a couple black spears. No, I'm casting this right here. I just cast it. Yeah, detain would be nice, that's for sure. But I don't know, that that uh five five life linker did do some good work for me before that. That was obviously worst case scenario.
with them having the one you know they only had one mana left they had the elixir of iron for that thing does worst case scenario jewel protector into that and then elixir of iron but <laughs> yeah new name uh switch out the name so it's not just all so it's not just um reliant on you know so it's not just a magic name can be used for anything so next turn i'm gonna have eight mana so if i play this we're still good hmm they didn't play anything else Okay, and I did my math wrong. I thought I could play Redeemer and that, but no. I... Oh, because I need 10. I was counting 8. Eyes open. Watch your branches. I got block with one other thing. And it has to be the 4-2 lifelinker. They have to block with the 4-2 lifelinker. Or no, no, no. They could, they could block the other eph ephemeral thing. Kinku Life Blade, or this, this Kinku Wayfinder, sorry, has just always looked great. It will be done. Yeah, Tyler, this game is going great. If you haven't, so if you haven't seen this this game at all, Legends of Runeterra, I recommend it. I wrote earlier this week why I like it more than Magic. Hope you check it out. They follow the wrong master. Good night, Yud. Only Have fun judging the vet tomorrow. No, but I like where your head's at there, Grave. So go in Ionia, but splash Teemo instead of Omenhawk, and then you grab double Teemo. That sounds pretty sweet. That sounds pretty sweet. PNZ would give you good removal spells, too. Oh, hey, the burn deck we just got done playing. Now they're they're uh, Jinx Teemo, just like we just got done playing. Of course I'm ready. We could use the bite. Hmm. 
put this here. Come, stay a while. It will all be over soon. Blocks. Ooh, glad it wasn't Brothers Bond. So it's having the extra Elise. Don't have to worry too much about that Elise dying. Yeah, this Boom Crew rookie is is very good. Come closer. I don't bite. So all these have fear some, so they can't block them. They can obviously just block this one one, but uh, not to worry too much about playing about those. And now we get to flip Elise. So we'll have the three spiders. My true beauty is beneath the skin. From Elise to Spider Queen Elise. Let me show you what I can do. Our hand was pretty good. I love a taste of the action. Not attacking with a jury rig? Okay, so let's see. I'm going to have you block you. Hmm. Let me just do this kind of block in. have a couple of our creatures die but with having Hecarim next turn it's okay to have a couple of creatures die free up some room oh or I could just rally Got one card. I'll give you to the counter. Right up. <laughs> Jinx is the only thing they can block. Back to 500, back to 500. <laughs> the dogs usually don't don't play a whole lot these days. They, they're playing now, you can kind of see them down here. Party.
All right, well, they just stopped. All right, a couple fearsome creatures we're going to keep. Um, I'll keep the rally. <laughs> I want to mulligan that back. Because we're playing against a control deck. Yeah, Vladimir Spiders did really well today. Um, basically, it's just it's just a good spider aggressive deck. Um, I like having the Noxus cards of the spiders, you know, like brother brothers bonds and and stuff like that. Um, so we would just get ahead with that deck, and then sometimes Vladimir would finish the games out for us. Uh, you know, each time, like we won all the games we played Vladimir. Pretty sure, yeah. I could just avalanche here. Yay. I was hoping I wasn't running, walking into an avalanche. Yeah, they have Catalyst of Aeons. That's their turn three. They want to play that after I attack so they get to, to gain the three life. Um, yeah, I thought I thought Vladimir uh, was good. I, I liked Vladimir more than Darius because because you do go wide, and so when you play Vladimir, you can be attacking with five other things, and so you just get to do like the five damage straight to the face. Um, Winter take you. Transfusion was a card that was really impressive as far as like a one mana spell goes. I mean, it was just an impressive card. Um, I liked that one quite a bit. Let's tack all tack on in there. Um, yeah, I'm just doing loot uh, rune Terra for now. We fight for one frail yard. One Freljord. Today we turn the tide of war. Rally. Let's get that attack token. Opponent surrendered. Get that extra attack in there. Okay, we're two and one. Good rank up day today for sure. Besides the ephemeral aggro, we've done well with everything else. Got good records. We're working our way through platinum right now. Yeah, rally. It's already helped us win both those games, so. Ooh, we got the mirror match now. I want them to play first. Fortunately, the plan didn't quite work. Almost worked. Doesn't have codes for free cards, no, but the, it has a really great reward system. Like whenever you play, you earn earn cards. Um, it 
It's a very good quality reward system. From the darkness. So I have a backup Elise that I'm going to be casting. some rates to help us out. Okay, five mana. They have a wraith... Caller, see that being a little bad for me. Vile feast. A tribute to the spider god. There's nothing to fear. All right, so they probably have a black spear also. That's my guess. What's your hurry? Nah, just another mystery. <clears throat> All right, well, I only have two spiders. Don't get to transform Elise yet. Ooh. Barrier can protect Hecarim. I don't really mind making trades because we're going to need more room with Hecarim. Hey, Harpy. But I didn't get to kill any of my allies to draw two because I needed the mana for that. I was one mana short. OPP surrendered. Won the Fearsome Rally Mirror. Thank you, Hecarim. We're already ahead before Hecarim, but if you're ahead before Hecarim, that's a that's a really good sign. Yeah, the expedition part of Legends of Terra is really fun. Yeah, it is. I completely agree. It's super fun, great for new players. Um, yeah, expeditions are awesome, and uh, I yeah, I really like the just the whole setup they have behind it. We're going to keep the Glimpse Beyond because we're playing against Control. They're going to be trying to kill all our stuff. So, like, they kill one of our things, we draw two. So we're going to keep the two mana, draw two. I pull the string. Taste my skill. 
if an ally died, they grow up so make two spiders. That's what I wanted to do too. I'll just pass. I don't think I want to use this just to make two one ones. If if we had another spider out and the two one ones would flip, at least maybe we do that. But I am not afraid. Maybe we can just do. Maybe we can just pass. They probably have more redeemers. They get to draw more cards. That that'd be my guess. Good guess. Well, this game's gone you know, very good for them. Just, you know, trading, hitting a lot of land drops. They have tons of cards. They're still at 20. I, I would be surprised if we win this, but, um, you know, we have some stuff like the harrowing that can just take over games. So we'll, we'll see. It's not, it's not over, but I am skeptical that we'll be winning this. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. Oh, that's the best card. That's the absolute best Heimerdinger card. And obviously they just have a bunch of them. My most groundbreaking invention to date! <laughs> Stand strong. Hoping this works, but yeah, them having four mana, they just have like all the protection available. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> uh. Heimerdinger still good. Yeah, that's that's a good call. Glimpse beyond countering the death mark. Yeah, that's that's definitely a good call. Unfortunately, we only have room for you know six. Um, you know, like we could cast the harrowing next turn and get six more allies, but can't do that. We have five lethal attackers. We will not hesitate.
Heimerdinger is crazy good. Another blocker. That was the best card I could draw. That was the absolute best card I could draw. I know how this is going to really work, though. Heimerdinger was nerfed before. me excuse to use that. Come closer. I don't Oh, they discarded the one one. I'm not sure why they yeah i guess uh, they still have mana for barrier man heimerdinger is ridiculous my most groundbreaking invention to date <laughs> I think that's the the most power. I honestly think Heimerdinger is the most powerful card in in the entire game. I think it is. Oh. Stuff it can do is pretty ridiculous. All right, gonna get rid of the rally. You know, we're playing against aggro here. I kind of want to keep the Hecarim. I want to be able to play Hecarim on turn six. I like the Vile Feast. Reporting in. 
Yeah, Hibernator is definitely the kind of card that, like, whenever you're playing it, you're like, wow, look at all this stuff I get to do. And when you're playing against it, you're like, why can why is somebody allowed to do all that stuff? <laughs> kind of card that you definitely want to be playing and not playing against. Hurts you to see people playing Eldux with Ezreal when they could be playing Heimer Flash. What's the what's what does the flash word mean there? First big mission. And the Heimer Flash. What do you mean by the word flash there? Flash of Brilliance, gotcha, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Flash of Brilliance with Heimerdinger is amazing, and my my last opponent had two of those. All right, have to get that 1-4 out of there. That 1-4 too strong. Boom crew rookie. The good news though is now my creatures are four twos. So we can block a one four with a four two. I guess I just trade one away so I get to draw a card. Better run. Me taking nine, going down to three. So they have to get excited on dead. Remember the fallen. So obviously I could play Rally here and attack, but I want to play Hecarim and then Rally. Ugh. I just drew a Decimate. Darn. Or, I mean, they could have had that the last turn, but then they just needed, needed the mana. Alright, three and three. I am not convinced that the deck that we're playing is the best deck. So I was saying that before, saying this is the best deck in the format. I am not convinced of that at all. I think that the Kinku Elusives and uh, Ezreal Elnux, those are my picks for the, the two best decks. You think the worst champs between Callista, Katarina, and Shen? I think it's I think it's Shen. I like Callista, Callista, Katarina. I think Shen's probably the worst one. So a Fiora deck. Let's get rid of these Demacia cards.
So that last game that I just played, if I don't block that other 2-1, I just take the other 2 damage, I, I would have been at 1, but I could have rallied. I'd have the 2 unblockable creatures, they're at 12, right? I hit them down to like 4, and then, I, and then it's my turn, and then I just attack immediately. And they would have never had time to cast a Decimate. Would have been my best play, and you know, would have killed them. Would have been, been my best play against Decimate, but it would have looked silly if they had like a Mystic Shot that would have just killed me. Um... Yeah, I wasn't really playing around Decimate, I suppose. Of course, I didn't know that I was going to be taking so much damage also, because I didn't realize they'd have the, the brothers in Bond as well. Would fall by my blade. I never hold on. Oh They have to use a barrier to keep Fiora alive, and even if they do, they don't get the kill with Fiora. Oh, uh, well, they have a Purify, okay. Nothing to hold me back. Drain one. I don't think they're going to be able to keep this Fiora alive through all this stuff. I mean, I guess if they have another one of... They have to have another one of those heal the ally three. For one mana. Or I guess just any one mana trick now. Because that... Yeah, because that adds the power. So just any, any one mana trick. It's not likely to have another one mana trick, right? All right, good. That Fiora out of there. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Strike for the balance. Go, Hecarim, go. So I think I just attack out, even though they could, you know, easily block, like, the 1-1. One, one. Alright, well, that thing's a 4-4 four, four now. Yeah, I guess I'll just attack out. Eyes open. I pity you. All right. So 
This is going to be troublesome getting around this, admittedly. We can transform Elise and try to challenge her this thing down. These are dangerous land. Oh, I should I should just play the skitter. The advantage first. is mine. Yeah, I should just play the skitter that turn, but oh well. Come closer. I don't bite. All right, flip Elise, question mark. I think now what's the single You're combat? Coming. It's probably could have here, single combat. Let me change into something more comfortable. But I wish another creature be besides Elise could take out the 4 4. Run out of tricks eventually, right? Hope this works. I think this could probably work. <laughs> hey, thanks, Paradigm Shift. Say, so, I was just watching the Vlad Spiders on YouTube, and then I was like, "Wait, I could just watch that. Watch that later." All right, so I'm pulling their Life Linkers to the very end, trying to have these things win first. I think we got this. I'm not sure exactly what they'll have. Like single combat is like kind of what they need to to fight. No, no single combat. All right, so we finished with a positive record with Fearsome Rally as well. Yeah. Paradigm just says, I haven't had time to play a lot of this game, but just even just that little challenge trick makes some of the plays you do in Legends of Terra pretty sick. Yeah, there's so much, there's so much little intricacies with this game. Whenever, like the games that I lose with this, I can really think of like plays that you know, that I, like, basically, there are so much decision, like, so many decisions with this, so many, like, sequencing decisions and everything, with attacking and blocking being so important. The games that you lose, like, there's probably decisions you could have done differently to help you win kind of thing, and, and a lot of the games are pretty close, and it's, it's just exactly what you want with a card game with that. It's just so balanced, and everything, um, every decision you make matters, coming from Magic, where, in Magic, 
I don't know, you know, 25%, 30%, you know, of the games that you're playing, I don't know, 40% are, are just determined by, are just determined by mana. I mean, well, basically all the games are just who spends more mana is how, is just who wins in Magic, but um you know like just you have to mulligan a whole lot because of like your hands aren't aren't any good and you know you mulligan down to like five cards where your opponent has seven have a huge advantage maybe you keep a two lander and you get stuck on two lands uh, that happens or you know you draw five lands in a row it's just like that's how the games of magic end um this there's there seems to be a whole lot more interaction because like how how important combat tricks are so there's a lot more interaction back and forth even like the aggro decks the control decks every everybody's interacting everywhere it's not just um you know people just uh you know like throwing out all their, like affinity their all their spells and just hoping their opening hands better than your opening hand like how modern basically is um yeah the the yeah it's a very skill intensive game for sure yeah, exactly. No, you're right. Most games of Magic are decided before you play your first card. Yeah, it's <clears throat> most most games of Magic you can just like show opening hands and 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 you're gonna know who's gonna win, <laughs> kind of thing. Um. But uh, but yeah, this game is is so so skill intensive. The games are so close. They're uh, you know edge edge of your seat kind of games and everything like that. It's a lot of fun. It's really refreshing. And yeah, the 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 spell mana that that's another skill intensive aspect for sure. Um, yeah, and so yeah, your control decks that wait till later that skip turn one and two they can catch up. That's a good call because of that that extra stored mana. So it's not like they just get run over and it's it's pretty sweet. And there's times that you don't play your spells because you want to store up the mana later, but. All right, but anyway, that's Fearsome Rally. Um, yeah, we went four and three. The deck's pretty good, but I don't necessarily... I'm still not convinced that that this Demacia Splash is better than playing the other, like, Fearsome Midrange that we played before, um, you know, with, with being able to use all the removal spells, with having Mystic Shot, Get Excited, Thermogenic Beam. I'm not convinced that playing Rally is better than playing those, to be honest. Um... And, uh, and uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so five fun decks today. We'll play five more decks tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, I hope you hit the like buttons on those videos. I really appreciate that. The more likes, the more the YouTube algorithm helps spread the videos. Um, and same thing with the comments. So, you know, feel free to leave questions about any of the, like what happens in any of the games or you know, uh, leave your deck list, whatever you're playing, uh, you know, what you're doing in expeditions, all that kind of stuff. Leave those comments too. All right, but thanks so much for watching some, uh, where'd you go? Fearsome Rally. And I'll see you for the next video.